Greetings, Willowlema Shant here with your Awakening Your Consciousness reading for Friday, May 10th. Hope you're having a beautiful week. Today is Friday. It's always a good day for a lot of people who work in that Monday to Friday. So I'm going to go ahead and get our card shuffled here so that we can see what the Divine Source has in the way of guidance to help us out today on our journey. See what she has for us today. All right, we're going to go ahead and do our three cards. Right, see what she has for us. So, the first card for us today is the chariot. The Chariot is a card about taking control and being in the driver's seat. So what do you want to do with your spiritual path, your journey? How do you want to, to direct it? Where would you like to see yourself? Are you wanting to be the healer? Are you wanting to be um, someone who can do divination? What is it you're trying to do? Are you just wanting to be more aware and awake and seeing the energies and the vibrations all around it, all around you? But today you are in the driver's seat and it's reminding us of that, okay, with the chariot. So just make sure you know where you're going and take control of your journey. The next one is Luna, the moon. So when we look at this, this is about using, paying attention and using our gifts, especially our psychic awareness. Are you paying attention to your intuition? Are you paying attention to your dreams? These could be very important right now. If you've been having really vivid dreams, there is messages coming in for you. So it's really important that you're writing these down. If you are having really strong intuition, just kind of knowing what you need to be doing. You need to follow it. Don't just go, oh, I'm being silly. It's time to pay attention. When the moon shows itself, it's revealing things to us. It's showing us things. What is it trying to show us? What is the divine source or your spirit guides trying to tell you or show you? So make sure that you're paying attention today. And finally, we have the Seven of Flames. Now, the Seven of Flames is, is about standing our ground. It's also about making sure that we are strong enough to stand against opposition, especially our spiritual path type of opposition. You're going to run into those people who are believing that only their religious beliefs are right, there's a lot of hate out there in the world today, a lot of discrimination. And so you need to be aware of it, be able to stand your ground, have enough knowledge and wisdom, learn as much as you can, because that's going to give you more strength to be able to discuss or talk about what's going on in your path without... Um, having any problems. You don't need to cause more conflict, but just stand your ground. If you get into a heated discussion, just know when to back off and say, you know what, I guess ni neither of us can win in this one. So we'll just talk another time and leave it at that. Diffuse the situation, stand your own ground, but don't continue in heated discussions if they're unnecessary today. That's what I'm getting, okay? So let's take a look at your three again today. You have the chariot. You are in the driver's seat. So where are you heading? What do you want to see in your journey? What would you like to work on? Where are you going, okay? Luna, the moon, paying attention to your intuition 
paying attention to your dreams. You need to write down dreams, so make sure you're journaling in a dream journal. Make sure that you're not dismissing your gut feelings. And finally, the seven of flames. It is time to stand your ground. Have enough knowledge as ammunition, I guess, to stand up for what you believe without too much conflict. You can stand your ground and know when to walk away. And that's what's important. So I hope these help you today. And if you are seeking a personal reading, I'm available. Just check out my website, willalamashant.com. Also follow me on Facebook and Instagram. All of those links are down below in the description of the video. And I hope you have a beautiful day. And until next time, be blessed.